Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumps, back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into probably what is one of the easiest Blitz battles that we've seen in a very, very long time. Um, the Luffy vs. Kaido Pirate Alliance Blitz battle is underway, and in today's video, I have three teams for you guys to actually take this event down. The final team is a full booster team. I feel like a lot of people summon, so, like, people have this team. I'm gonna run it in the video, um, just because I'm tired, it's late. I wanted to include a third team. The other two teams... Well, the first team doesn't include any of the new batch and doesn't have Momo or Luffy as your own units. We are bringing a friend, Gear 5. Gear 5 was sort of made for this. And then the second team has either a Gear 5 or a Momo on the team, depending on which one you guys summon, and then bring the friend captain as the other one. But if you enjoy the video, belt like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. It's a bit of a shit blitz in terms of the rewards. However, there is a rush um, tablet that you guys can get. Some really cool titles, but look, Japan will probably take them out and um, some really good rewards. So make sure you guys are doing this. Um, there is a skull for Luffy's 5 Plus here as well, I think after 30, 30 uh, clears. So make sure you guys do the 30 clears, but let me know what you guys are using in the comment section below. Bet the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. And let's dive in to uh, Luffy vs Kaido. So the first team is led by Monkey D Luffy, the free-to-play Luffy. Now this team is very new player friendly. Uh, if you guys haven't farmed up that lore, you can use the free-to-play Usopp that they give you. However, if you're an endgame player and you just got absolutely shafted on the banners, you didn't pull a single rare recruit, you didn't pull a single legend, this team might work for you. You can use lore over something like the Usopp. But that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, you can obviously add stat boosting supports. That will work absolutely hunky-dory. I just haven't because all you need is literally the uh, Flampe support or you can use the Sanji, the um, treasure map Sanji. That's another option for you guys as well. Just to give you guys an orb boost on the final stage. Uh, on the first turn, we're basically just going to single tap our way through. And then we can activate Luffy's super type to just wave clear stage 2. And it works very, very nicely. Um, if you guys manage to pull Dendro or um, Hiori, you can easily just replace Law and Zoro with those two rare recruits. The Law can be replaced with um, Hiori. Or you can use Maha, the free-to-play character from PKA that will also work here to remove the special one on stage three. And then Zoro can be replaced by Dendro. Zoro removes the uh, threshold, but you do need him to be at level number rank five to actually get this ability to uh, be fully effective. Once we've done that, we can just basically tap here. Um, no issues whatsoever. We have a bunch of slashes on the team. So they're going to get that nice chunky attack boost. And then on stage four, we come up against either King or Queen. Now, King and Queen will give you bind on your bottom row, but Gear 5 takes care of that. You get uh, despaired, but Luffy takes care of that, and you get a full board of block orbs. You also get six turns of attack down, and if you come up against Queen, he puts up six turns of damage reduction. So that's where Robin and Jinbei are so good, because Robin and Jinbei can literally just remove all of that. We, to get around the block orbs, we are going to um, use our Gear 5 special. That's going to work nicely. And then to take down this stage, we literally have to tap with two units. So we're going to tap with our Luffy, because we're, he's going to rotate his orb back anyway. And then if you hit a perfect with Brook, he has a Sailor ability that just keeps a Psy Orb. That way, you just keep a full board of Psy Orbs on the final stage. And that way, when you activate the EX Special, you can just get a 3 times Orb multiplier, and it works amazingly. On the final stage against Kaido, he has 6 turns of Threshold. He does Special Reverse, but look, Gear 5 takes care of that. And then he has 7 turns of Resilience. He also puts up a 2 one or Barrier and basically does a huge death hit. And this is why bringing a friend captain Gear 5 is so good. Because it literally just triggers the revive of Gear 5, moving into this stage. Then you don't have to worry about the threshold, you don't have to worry about the barrier. Plus, you don't have to worry about dying. That's another upside to Gear 5. You literally don't have to worry about dying at all. And because of that, uh, we are now in the Gear 5 form. Once we're in that form, we're going to use our Luffy special. He's going to give us an attack boost, as well as the Flumpe or the Sanji support giving you an orb boost. We're going to use Brook and his double special activation to remove the 6 turns of Resilience. Works out really, really nicely there. He can also remove the threshold, but look, the threshold doesn't matter thanks to Gear 5 anyway. And then finally, with Gear 5, we can activate his Super EX, turning everyone into Super Types and Free Spirits. Super Free Spirits. And then we also get the um, the Orb Multiplier buff too. Once we've done that, we are going to tap our way through. As you guys will see here, like Kaido does have a chunky amount of HP for this team. Uh, if you put support, you're going to do more damage. But the Rush Sugo that Gear 5 Luffy has means he hits very, very hard. You just need to hit that finish tap, and as you can see there... It's um, good night, Irene, for uh, good old Kaido. So, that's um, that's the first team. Works fairly nicely. Pretty simple. Let's move on to the next team. All 
All right, so the next team has a little bit more boosted units on it. We have Yamato, who's a 1.5 times booster. And as I mentioned, if you guys have Maha, you can bring Maha in to remove the special bind, and it works quite nicely. Now, this particular team is designed for players that pulled one of the new legends, but don't have the rare recruits. If you did pull the rare recruits, though, you can easily just put them on the team. You just replace Maha with Komarasaki, and then you replace Zoro with um, Denjiro, and that will work absolutely fine. You can then literally replace Brook with any despair remover you guys like. That'll work absolutely fine. And if you pulled Momo, not Gear 5, use Momo as your captain with the Kanjuro support instead of Gear 5 and the Rayleigh support. But that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this team has a lot more points going for it than the, than the, uh, the last team. And utilizing Momo as a friend captain means that he's going to activate his special on the very first turn. The upside to this is that now we can actually just utilize Momo's single tap to actually get around um, all of the nasty effects. But what we're going to do here, we're actually going to use Brook to wave clear. Brook is a little bit faster than um, just single tapping with Momo. Um, so if you guys are looking for a little bit of a faster strat than just sort of sitting through the Momo situation, you can actually use Brook. But if you are struggling for damage elsewhere, you can just single tap with Momo and use Momo's end of turn damage to get through that as well. And um, that will work pretty hunky-dory as well. On stage three, we come up against Orochi and Kanjuro. They give us the special bind, and they put up the threshold. To get around this, they also bind too, which Momo can turn into an attack buff as well. Um, to get around this, we're going to use Maha to remove the special bind, and then we can use Zoro once again to remove the threshold. You can easily use Brook here. Brook is another option to remove the threshold. Both these characters are free to play. Both of them are very, very easy to farm up, and you can easily... Uh, it's very easy to attain uh, the, the 10 copies. With the attack boost, with the orb boost, it's a very easy kill there. You also carry Zora's orb boost into the next stage. Come up against either king or queen now. You get the special reverse. You also get binded, I believe, on your sailors. Um, and then you also get despaired. Um, the supports of Rayleigh and Sanji are going to take care of that despair. But as I mentioned, if you guys do have the... Um, the What's it called, batch? The... Como or Dendro, you can just put them on the team and then just replace Brook with another despair removing uh, character or support. To get around the damage reduction or the attack down, depending on who you come up against, either King or Queen, we are going to use the Momo special. They also do a monstrous HP cut here as well. Um, look, the HP cut, it's a little bit annoying, um, but it's not the end of the world because when we move into the final stage, we're going to die anyway. And then with Gear 5, we can actually revive back. Once we revive in our Gear 5 form, you can use the EX special if you want to. Um, but you really don't need to. You just need to use the, the Luffy special and you're pretty much good to go. You don't even need Yamato's special for this entire run. I believe that Yamato's special just makes the run take a little bit longer. So um, it's up to you whether you guys, if you guys want to do it, you guys want to use it. But as you guys can see here, like you have so much damage that like you, you really don't need it at all. But if you guys are struggling with like level limit breaks and um, limit break expansions, all that kind of stuff, you do have a backup special there. You also had Brook as well. As you guys saw, I used him to wave clear. You do more damage there. But again, if you need to bring a Despair removal, just replace Brook there. 12.08 points. Not too bad if you are missing some of the batch. But let's move on to the full batch team now. And the final team is the batch team. It looks a little bit like this. Notable supports we're using are Kanjuro and Rayleigh. We're bringing our friend Captain Luffy just because it's easy to find on our friends list. And that way, we're using Momo as our captain. So that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, the reason we're using Momo as a captain is he actually activates his special on turn one. And um, that way we just get the end of turn damage. Now, that just means that um, we get the attack boost moving through these first couple stages. Plus, we can just single tap with Momo and just let him do his thing and just easily kill here. This way, we basically have every unit that is a monstrous orb... Uh, sorry, not orb, this monstrous point boost being uh, two Luffy's and Momo, the two new batch of um, Komo and Dendro. And then Yamato, for some reason, is a 1.5 times booster. Um, so she gives us a lot of points as well. On stage 3, we're going to use the combination of Komo and Denjiro. Again, if you guys don't have these units, if you didn't pick them up, um, a really good replacement for Komo is uh, Maha. He's a 1.25 times booster. And then a really good replacement for Denjiro is the, um, the Brook or the Zoro. Either of them will work absolutely fine. Brook's a free spirit, so I'd probably bring him. But look, at the end of the day, like... That orb boost that uh, Zora provides is really good to move into this stage against either king or queen. On this stage, you do get um, either six turns of attack down or damage reduction. There's also despair, so the supports take care of that. And then basically on this stage, we're going to use our um, Gear 5 Luffy. 
to get a color affinity boost. And then we're going to pop the Momo special once again. Momo literally just takes care of this stage. Easy peasy like this. Just no issues when it comes to taking down King or Queen. Provided you have Momo. Now, if you don't have Momo, Robin and Jinbei is going to be your best option. Um, otherwise, if you have Gear 5, just bring a Momo friend captain as you guys saw in the last clip. On the final stage against Kaido, he's basically going to kill us. It's going to activate the Gear 5 revive. And then once again, we're just going to use the Gear 5 special here to just absolutely decimate Kaido. We have so much overkill damage here that like it actually doesn't matter. But um, you do have an extra chain boost with um, with Yamato. And you also have um, the Super EX as well. So that's also something to note and something else you guys can use. But that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A very easy blitz, to be honest. Um, no real issues whatsoever. But look, very good for newer players coming to the game. People trying to pick up a lot of these rewards. Because the rewards, are, look, they are very, very good. Um, it's just a shame that we don't have something like a free-to-play character. 56.92 points is absolutely disgusting too, by the way. I have no idea what they were thinking when they actually put that together. But belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!